A lot of people are wondering, what's the best strategy for applying for a mortgage these days? I'm Jennifer Openshaw, a columnist for The Wall Street Journal and CEO of Superfutures.com. And you first have to remember, what if you were a banker and you were making a loan to somebody of thousands of dollars? What would you care most about? You'd care most about that they are on time with their bills, their their other debts and obligations. Uh, you would care that they have the financial ability to carry that loan going forward. And uh, you'd care that they have stability in their life, in their job, and perhaps even in their home. So to turn the tables back around to you, what that means is first off that you are on time with your bills. That's most importantly because they'll be looking at that. Uh, it's important that you have the financial capacity. So there we mean that you can put down at least 20% uh, for a loan. So if that's a $100,000 uh, home you're looking to buy, that you would put $20,000 down on it. And I'm going to get to your mortgage payments in a second. Um, and lastly, that uh, you've got stability in income so that you can keep paying it going forward. A, a lot of financial institutions want to make sure that you've been in your job for, for two years at least and in your current home for two years at least, which can be a little tricky in these times. So let me talk about a couple other strategies that are very important if you're looking to get a mortgage. Um, the first off is to make sure that you have the financial ability to be paying that mortgage each month. So generally, banks are looking for your um, monthly mortgage debt to range about 25 to 30 percent of your uh, monthly uh, gross pay. So if you're if you make four thousand dollars a month, that means that you that your monthly mortgage should range from about a thousand dollars to twelve hundred dollars. So you want to make sure that that's the case with you and that you can uh, handle it. Uh, secondly, you want to make sure that uh, of course you can put at least twenty percent down because if you don't, then you're going to have to pay for something called private mortgage insurance, which will be another uh, bill that you'll have to pay every month. Uh, next, uh, it's a good idea to get a pre-approval um, of, a, of a loan uh, before you start hunting for a home. So simply um, apply uh, through lenders. Uh, you can usually do it online. But I do also want to encourage you to shop around for loans because even I have found a big difference. Um, you don't necessarily get better rates with larger institutions. You want to keep that in mind. And um, your credit rating, which is probably the most important thing that they look at, is a real-time moving target. So if you were late on paying a bill uh, yesterday or in the last few days, it's going to have a negative reflection than if you were late two months ago. So keep that in mind. You want to make sure you're current on all your payments. Um, make sure, too, that uh, you don't get lured into these uh, longer life mortgages. And by that, I mean uh, new products have come out so that um, if you want an even lower payment to get into a house, you can get a 45-year mortgage, for example. Um, that's a lot of years, uh, although it might make sense if, uh, um, if your capacity is limited and, and, and some other factors are at play. But keep this in mind. If you want to pay your home off earlier and you're thinking about a 15-year mortgage but you're maybe a little concerned about the higher payments, you can do a 30-year mortgage and uh, simply contribute more to your uh, monthly payment whenever you can. There's almost never a penalty for that, but you'll just want to double check. So those are some strategies for taking out a mortgage today. Uh, rates continue to be low. Generally, it makes sense to uh, get a fixed rate over um, an adjustable rate uh, loan. Uh, get a pre-approval pre uh, uh, for a loan in advance of buying a home. Um, remember that uh, you want to have at least 20% down and you want to be able to keep your monthly mortgage payment to about 25 to 30% of your gross monthly pay. For all your, all your questions, we are ask.com. I'm Jennifer Openshaw, CEO of superfutures.com.